Welcome everyone to Pokemon X and Y DSY5 Battle vs. Jacob Siegel. I'm gonna be leading out with my Gengar, as always he's gonna be leading out with his Greninja. Now I actually am EV training some new Pokemon, and gonna switch off Gengar. Uh, he's gonna be replaced by a new Pokemon, which you'll see eventually. And he is able to actually outspeed my Gengar here. And go over the Dark Pulse, bring me down to my Focus Sash. I mistakenly go over Thunderbolt. Forgetting about Dark Pulse and how uh, Protein switches him to the Dark type, so I could have went for Sludge Bomb, but no, did not. Anyways, uh, he's gonna go for U-turn, very smart play, knowing he can kill me anyway. I go into my Greninja, and he, yeah, super effective damage on me. That almost kills my Greninja. I'm kind of thinking he's maybe not timid, maybe like a plus speed, minus defense, something like that, just because that did a lot. <laughs> Anyways, he goes into his Talonflame. Horrible play for him because I go over the Surf, which will take out his Talonflame in one hit. So he just lost one of his most powerful Pokemon here. Yeah, horrible play for him. I have no idea why he went into his Talonflame. <laughs> Anyways, he's going to go into his Gengar. He is Troy Scar because I know from previous battles we've had. Gonna switch into my chest, not here, a perfect Gengar counter. He's gonna go over the Thunderbolt, not doing anything to my chest, not here. So, chest not has the leftovers. And uh, he can actually set up on this Gengar. Uh, he does decide to switch out, knowing I can set so He's gonna go into his Dust Noir, and unfortunately, Dust Noir has Will O Wisp. So, that bulk up I just did, yeah, it doesn't mean anything anymore. Because I gotta switch, because I don't want to have my chest not burned, or else he won't be able to do anything. So, unfortunately, that Dust Noir, yeah, kind of mean, um, but whatever. Talon Flame's gonna come in here. He is a fire type, so he cannot get burned. And Talon Flame's gonna go for the Swords Dance, get me up to plus two now. And his, uh... Dust Noir here is gonna go for <laughs> the Thunder Punch and quite do quite a bit of damage to my Talon Flame now. And actually, Citrus Berry is gonna bring me up. So my uh, Flare Blitz is gonna do quite a lot of damage to his Dust Noir since I do have plus two attack thanks to that Sword Dance. Doesn't kill him though, unfortunately. And well, another Thunder Punch from that Dust Noir is going to kill my Talon Flame. So unfortunately, that was pretty bad. So, both of our Talon Flames are dead. You know, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna go into my Gengar now, and I completely forget about Shadow Sneak, so just kinda lost my Gengar. And Yeah, horrible play that I just did there. That was very dumb, very dumb. Uh, yeah, gonna go into Lucario now. And Mega Lucario does have the Bullet Punch, which, uh, thanks to the ability, Adaptability, uh, is two times more powerful because it's steel move and that's stab so dust noir is gonna die i with dust noir gone he's gonna go into his quagsire and i know that my lucario can do a lot of damage to this quagsire even though it's uh, uh physically bulky it's still gonna do a ton of damage that close combat he's gonna go for the curse now and i'm pretty sure one more close combat can kill so that curse he set up was pretty much actually useless. So, uh, his leftovers aren't really gonna do anything either. That close combat did so much damage the first time, it's just gonna kill him now this time. So there goes his Quagsire. He thought he could live and go for the recover, but no, he was wrong. Close combat's just gonna kill his Quagsire. He's gonna go out into his own Lucario here. Not entirely sure why I am faster than him. Since I already have my Mega stats up, and he doesn't, and even if he went for the Bull Punch, not going to do too much to my Lucario, so not entirely sure why he did that, but Close Combat's going to kill his own Mega Lucario. No, I did add two defense drops, so if he went for the Bullet Punch, he could have gotten some damage off. I don't know what he's doing here. He's going to go into his Greninja, and I have Bullet Punch. So that's going to take out his Greninja, almost. He lives on like one HP. I'm like, oh, come on now. He does go over the Dark Pulse, and that almost kills me. Brings me down to three HP. 
and uh, with his life orb that kills him. I don't know why he didn't go for Surf. He should have. I don't know why he didn't. Whatever. I go with the bullet punch with Lucario here. And that does not kill him. He goes with a shadow ball now. That's going to kill my Lucario. So he could have brought out his Gengar actually uh, first. And then I would have had to switch out Lucario into Chestnut. He could have gone into his Greninja. That would have been a lot better for him. But anyways, uh, this is the funny part of the game. He goes for Shadow Ball, and it doesn't affect me, obviously, since I have Bulletproof. And I just go for the bulk up to have some fun with him. And obviously, since I said he is Choice Scart, he can't do anything but Shadow Ball. So as I keep hulking up, he's just sitting here not able to do a thing. So Chestnut is victorious in the end. Oh, in the end here. So thank you everyone for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. If you want to see some more Pokemon X and Y DS Wi-Fi battles, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll get some more out soon. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.